Hey everyone, I'm Maddie. And I'm Amber. And, and we're, we're Witches Talking, Talking Tarot. Tarot. And today we're going to be discussing all things water, magic, and the spirituality of like the element water. I'm really excited with this because it kind of goes with like our earth segment. Yeah. And I'm getting I believe, wet and wild today. Oh, that's the name of this yeah, I was hoping, I was hoping so much. I was like, I want to call it Wet and Wild so bad. Or like Wet and Wild Witches or... Witches be wet and wild. Yeah, like something. I didn't want to put Witches Gone Wild because that implies tits and no. Or That'll be used at a later date yeah, like for a like, different episode. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Because so, it's cold and rainy today, so it's kind of perfect it is. to have done our water yeah, episode really today. weird. Yeah, I didn't even know it was gym. supposed to rain. Well, I Yeah, and it's like in the 50s. I'm like, we're both in sweatshirts, guys. Mm -hmm. I had a cute dress that I was going to wear for the water episode, uh, but no. Um, so I believe in our last episode, I'm an earth bitch. Is that how, that's mm -hmm. it? I'm an earth bitch. Uh, we discussed how Amber and I are both really drawn to earth, yes. but the second element that we're both drawn to is water. Yes. I wonder if mo most earth signs are like that or if it's just a happy coincidence. Right. I don't know. Um, but also, so my rising is Scorpio. I know you don't know yours, but mm -hmm. I, I have a Scorpio rising, which is a water sign. Mm -hmm. So I, I wonder, I've... I've modicum wondered before, but I really actually wondered right now as you were speaking about that. You know, you, you when it comes to like zodiac, some of the signs and their elements make no sense. Why the fuck is an Aquarius a what? Air. Air. I know. It should be, it should be water. water right? I know. When I hear Scorpio, I think fire. Me too. Right? I was surprised to find out it was a water sign. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, Scorpio, Scorpion, desert doesn't right? make sense. Right? Yeah. Like, like tor also, to me, Taurus should be um, uh, is a it fire earth? sign. Oh, it fire? is earth. Okay. I feel like it should be fire. That also could be because I grew up watching The Last Unicorn that has the flaming red bull. So I may be slightly biased there by the movie and uh -huh. the, you know that I grew up watching. You know? I, I hear Tor Taurus. That's what mm -hmm. I, was I hear that, and like you said, you say the bull. To me, it fits really well with the Capricorn, which is the Earth, right? The goat, the right. goat. So. And, and from the standpoint of the bull, it does make sense as Earth, and mm -hmm. that's why I go. I think it's my bias from the last unicorn was like so you know when you're a kid you have like a oh, certain absolutely. amount of movies you watch all the time absolutely. for me it was bed knobs and broomsticks the last unicorn the secret of nim um, love that one. the labyrinth they're all so creepy yeah like, there's a reason i am the way no, i am when no. i list these like I, these I, are the movies I watched over and over. Those oh, well, were we, my we definitely watched the the secrets of yeah. Nim. Absolutely, yeah, I cannot creepy. watch the labyrinth because I have it. Right, yeah, the the, the thing. fear of the Muppets. Muppets. My name is Maddie, and I'm afraid of Muppets. Yeah, I can't watch yeah. Treasure Island either. Oh my Muppets. God, Trevor, Treasure Island is my fucking nightmare. well, and it's like I don't even talk to you about Sesame Street because my favorite characters are the ones that terrify you the most, and it's like. It's, it's weird. I mean, I, like, I want to like Treasure. My husband's like, Treasure Island's my favorite Muppets movie. Yeah, I want it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first of all, like Tim Curry. Tim Curry. He's a creepy he's motherfucker. Scary a Why is he in so much children's stuff? Because he is. He's in the worst witch, the which we are gonna have to watch right. eventually. Um, and I do love that movie. <sighs> but Tim Curry's the vampire in the worst witch, and it's like, why is Tim Curry in kid stuff? He's terrifying. It's the eyes. That's why me. the original It is so scary because Tim Curry. Tim Curry. So Tim Curry. Curry. He was. Anyway. He's so scary. Anyway, <laughs> um, <yeah>. water. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, what? How did we get on the movie route? We were talking about something. I have no idea. I don't know. We did that. Oh, our bull point. Taurus. Okay, oh, that's. Right. I was explaining why because I watched the last. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah. And the red bull, like, I believe that he is in flames. And if he is not in flames, I pictured flames because he's a fucking like red bull, you know. So I associated bull with fire because uh -huh. of the red bull from the last unicorn which is why i think taurus should be fire but that's just so me. when, when Literally. i think, when i think of like bulls like that i read a story and it's actually based on i believe some native american legend or maybe it's not native it's some lore it's either like european or native american i have no idea um which is there's a black bull and the black bull represents 
purity and all things good mm. and then there's a white bull and it's the exact opposite it's almost yin and yang but the white is uh what represents darkness because uh just be darkness doesn't equal evil just like light and happy like not mm -hmm. happiness but light does not always bring equal good right? yeah, yeah yeah so it's mm -hmm. like that's why it I associate it with Earth, I think, because it was... No, and it makes sense. Like, with like, like, as I was saying it, uh -huh. I realized I'm totally just biased because of that movie. Like, I, I think 100% that's where I get fire and bulls from because it makes sense from any, every other aspect. Because, like, well, elephants then, are an Earth animal, bulls and, like, bovine creatures. Anything with hooves is pretty much associated with Earth. Right, you know right. what I mean? Um, so it makes sense, and it's just... I, me yeah <laughs> I, I totally hear you out like um but pisces like pisces makes sense because it's water it's fish, but aquarius right? should also be water because it's the water bearer i know that's why it makes also no as sense. a virgo like i hate that it's the virgin or whatever you know how much <laughs> shit i got about that when people like discovered astrology in elementary school <laughs> well uh, like you you mentioned like whether or not that has something to a do with us school. feeling a calling. I do, I yeah. am curious if if you are an air sign, do you feel a calling to towards air? air? Right. And you know, I didn't know I was an earth sign growing up until I got into astrology, right. and I had always felt that connection to earth. So I just wonder right. if that has something to do with your birth sign. Do you guys believe in astrology? I mean, it doesn't matter if you do or not. It's right. real. Yeah. But. <laughs> What? Should I not have said no, that? No, that okay. reminded me about something for our next episode of okay, astrology. Okay. I'm just going to make a note so I don't forget to bring it up. <laughs> Keep talking. I just forgot to mention this when we were going over notes. Oh, okay. There's a thing. Uh, yeah, like it's a thing. Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk about so it next So water time. magic and we're not... Join us for next episode. Right, incubus sure. and succubus. I'm very excited about that. Like yeah, that. me too. Uh, so not like that, guys. We're not that kind of excited. Sponsor Or are we? <laughs> <laughs> um, so water magic, and we're not talking to James Cameron water magic. <laughs> Mentioned that a couple... Sorry, like Avatar. <laughs> oh, well, see, I was thinking um, Abyss. Really? Yes. It's old, but it's so good. You should watch it. It's got Mary Mastriano. Can't say her life, last name, but it's also got Ed Harris, um, and he's actually kind of handsome in it. But they, like, work on this, like, uh not a submarine, but like an underwater facility. Okay, I feel like I've seen it. And there's Go like ahead. this water creature thing. And like when it comes up to the lady, it like mirrors her face. So it's like this water thing. When that's was this like um, It's like late 80s. Late 80s. It can't have been early 90s. I'm pretty sure it's that late 80s. Good. Her name's Mary Mastron. Mastron. I can't see Say it, Master. Ma I love. It's Kate. a really weird last name that shouldn't be this hard to say. If I had it spelled out in front of me, I could say it. I think it's like Master Antonio or something, but I can't see it right now, and I'm not sure that I remember it exactly. But she's like got super curly, kinky, like almost black hair. I can't think off the top of my head anything else she's in. <coughs> But she's one of the main characters, and, like, they're, like, scientists or something, work for the government, maybe. Like, maybe he's a soldier and she's a scientist. I don't fucking know. They're, like, exes or something, so there's all this sexual tension or whatever that I, as a small child, picked up on. So, I mean, it has to be pretty obvious if I, as a kid, was like, oh, they mad at each other. Um, <laughs> but, like, the water thing is the cool part about the movie. That's why, like, I don't even remember all of the plot. Because I haven't watched it as an adult for over 10 years. But the graphics, especially for the time, are really cool because it's like this water... Cre it's like sentient water. Perfect for this episode, Abyss. Uh, I know, I yeah. know. It's like... And the thing, it like, it comes and it's like... If you picture like an entire... Like if this was an opening to a pool... You know how like underwater things they have like the... 
like if if you think deep blue sea and how they have like the access to the water or whatever inside the thing that they're uh -huh. in, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of like that, right? And then like this sentient water comes up out of it and it's like floating through the air as like a big long arm and then it comes up to her face and it's her face mirrored back at her. What is it? I can't remember if it's an alien or if it... I can't remember. Did you ever watch that Poseidon? Shit's I did. Fucking kind of sad. I don't remember. Though. The the oh. the. It was like a sci-fi movie, right? No, 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 no. It was a cruise ship that got flipped over, and uh, they Who's had. To... Wait, is this real life? No, 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 no. Okay, this no. is a movie. And there's a remake, okay. and then there's a new one, and they they both have really good cast. Um, but like this cruise ship gets flipped over, and they have to like get to the the, the top because it's sinking or some shit. There's an old lady there, and she used to be on the swim team and could hold her breath for like five minutes. So she sacrifices herself. It's it's good. Anyway. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like I have watched it because I know that name, right? But, like, there's a lot of ocean movies that I watch. So, like, eventually, you know, they all kind of start running in together. Like, I don't know. You you said you like shark movies, too. Oh, I fucking too, love you know? shark movies. Do they, do they run together for you like they do me? Like, because there's the one shark movie where they're out on a yacht, right? And their yacht flips over. And they, they, like, they need to get up on it because there's a fucking shark in the water. And then there's another yacht movie where they were on the yacht and everybody winds up going swimming, but the ladder wasn't down and they're trying <gasps> to get back that in one. it. That just, is it the same movie or is it two different I movies? Don't I don't know. It just gives me anxiety because of oh like, my what God. you fucking do? I know. That's oh. why I, like, these movies have ruined me going on boats ever again. Like, as a child, I went on boats in the ocean quite a bit. Mm -hmm. As an adult, I've seen too many ocean horror movies, like that fucking movie where they're like stuck out in the water because the ship leaves them and they're deep scuba water diving or something. Not uh, deep water. It's open like, water. Open, open water. water. That shit fucked me up. I used to like my uncle was a scuba instructor who swam with dolphins in the Bahamas when I was a seven-year-old child, and he promised me. He was going to teach me and all that, right? And so, like, by the time, the, like, we moved. So then there was, like, I wasn't going to be able to do it for a while. And then he changed jobs. So, like, that wasn't going to happen, period, for a while. So it was always kind of like a dream of mine. And then I saw open water. And now I don't trust anybody that doesn't have a reason to care about my life. I don't trust them to take me into the ocean. And because of the, that other movie we were just talking about where the ladder's not down, mm -hmm. now it's like... How do you even like enjoy yourself? So like, oh my god! I used to not be scared. I'm of not a fraidy cat, but damn, open water's scary. Not just the movie, but the idea of being stuck in open water in the ocean and you can't see land, so you don't know what way to go unless you're smart enough to use like the sun and the stars. I used. But to... even so, are you gonna reach land before it's nighttime and the sharks come out to feed? Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, like. This is my fear, guys. No, like, I used to not be afraid of water. I used to love water. I go swimming, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know, wildcat glade. Mm -hmm. I was swimming now, right? People do that. People that, do that. Were you swimming where they found the dead body? Oh, no, no. I okay. tried to swim across. There was everybody a dead body was found in this area, yeah, guys. Yeah, there was. There was a yeah. dead body found there. No. Um, <laughs> everybody was swimming across. I'm like, I'll swim across, too. You know what I mean? I got uh, stuck. I got a cramp. No! I started to sink. You want to know who saved me? Oh! Oh! Okay. Son. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody like someone you know, we, we know. Don't, son. We, yeah. We don't he name everybody. He literally saved my life. Yeah. I was stuck with a cramp. I was going up and down, up and down. I was like, "Please help me! Please help me!" He swam out there. He he oh, yeah. saved my fucking life. Wow. Um. And I was stuck on the other side and couldn't get on the other way. So another one of our friends had to come out because she was a lifeguard and literally had to like get swim me. You back yeah. across. Yeah. I have never almost drowned in my life except for that time. And now I can't go out in water because that water is so swift. If I went down, I'd be like that body they found. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. Like, <sighs> mm -mm, I so grew scary. one of, like, I have... I have a handful of like early memories, right? Mm -hmm. And one of them is my babysitter that 
I remember this bitch's name. Like, she was not nice, guys. She was, she was, she was fucking <laughs> that bitch from Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> uh, but like grandma age. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> that's like, worse. I know. <laughs> no, she like, was she was Joe Tom on the babysitter's day. Yeah, yeah, she was that lady. <laughs> Swear to God, bitch. So we, I, I'm from. Well, I'm going to have to change some of my security questions from now. A little bit of I'm everywhere. from Houston. <laughs> uh, I'm from Houston, which is an hour north of the beach. Mm-hmm. So I, m- my babysitter, she used to take us down to the beach sometimes. And like, um, one of one of my earliest memories is being taught about the undertow and cramps mm-hmm. because like mm-hmm. you taking three kids to the beach you do not want problems i get that it makes so, me sick yeah so like i i am very conscientious about undertow and cramps so do they um, cause each other no okay okay no they're just like the two most common reasons that people wind up dying in the water yeah that's exactly like like the undercurrent i could feel the undercurrent yeah you can't it, oh see God. it on the top mm-hmm. but it grabs you underneath and yeah. i was like you know i was like under the age of well seven. and i don't think riptides are super common here right, right. And they're this more is in the common ocean. in australia yeah. uh, well well and i'm talking yeah. about like oh in riptides in the ocean yeah i I don't know about that because I'm not as familiar with what a riptide is, so I don't. It's I it's can't. so you've got the wave coming this way, but as you got the waves coming this way, there's water in between that sucks it back out because it's got to come back, right? It goes forward and then it comes back. So as it's going forward, it it moves like this and sucks it back. Which way is the beach? Am I the beach or are you? I'm the beach. the beach. Okay. The waves are coming this way and it's sucking it back into. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. That area. happens here. That's how. Yeah. The, yeah. I know that it's like people die all the time. I didn't know that was a name for it. Yeah. Yeah. People die all yeah. the time because it and, and you can barely see it like between the waves, and there's like a specific time during the day that they're really. I watch a uh, lifeguard Australian show yeah. on my Facebook sometimes, yeah. and they were discussing it. And I don't know. I don't like the water after I almost died. <laughs> you know well, what I mean? Like, I understand the the wild water, right? You still like? Oh, right oh I, I, right? I will. Yeah. I will you step in like the water. Wilderness water, right? <laughs> right. I probably won't go in anything over my head. Is yeah. what I'm getting yeah, at. Yeah. Like, no. Um, so water is known for its cleansing properties. Yes. But the thing that's cool about cl- like water is everybody just assumes it's like cleansing. But water can also mold like like the fucking Grand Canyon. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, like, do you get what I'm trying things. to say? I'm trying water, to like... Okay, so like I think about the elements in ways like that. So uh-huh. like I think about like what is the, what is the, uh, you know, what is the antithesis? And antithesis of earth, right? Mm-hmm. Is it water? Because water can mm-hmm. mold earth over time. Right. Is it air? Because air can cut through earth, right? Mm-hmm. Is it fire? Because fire can burn earth. And I think about that. So, like, yes, I know what you mean. Because water molds things. It, well, it, it just changes just... them with its... Just over time, it, you know, it, it chips away. You and know? it doesn't just chip Water away. Water changes and, air. Well, it doesn't just chip away and destroy. It also creates because yes. those things in caves that that's yes, water that's dripping. Yes, that's water dripping down. and pulling minerals with it exactly. and leaving behind the earth and, and dropping literally down creating. and then creating as it, both as it goes down and when it lands because yeah. it builds up. Right. It could, it's constantly creating. Yes. Um, like I think of water not only for cleansing but like all relationship things. Right. Mm. Water is a connector mm-hmm. hey we're fucking made of water in case you didn't know well cups in tarot water, water. emotions mm-hmm. yeah. exactly so, yeah you know. but like i love i love the cleansing properties of water from the standpoint of literally water cleans all of us on oh, a regular absolutely. basis mm-hmm. if we're lucky they hope it does right yeah uh Based on the Earth's own natural cycles, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, 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 it takes the water, the Earth cleanses the water, it purifies the water, the mm-hmm. water comes back up. People could drink it back before we polluted it. People suck, guys. Um, uh, we could Charles bathe James, in it naturally. James Cameron, Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, like, after, you know, the, the, it's pulled back up, and mm-hmm. then it's cleaned up there. 
and it comes down and it rains right. on us again. Mm -hmm. And then it cleans us and the earth cleanses the water again. And it does this whole fucking cycle. I know it's not science class and you're not in third grade. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know everybody knows how precip precipitation works. But it's the whole thing that it's all connected. It all works together. Just like water changes earth through time. Water changes air based on humidity, heat which is fire, right? So right. fire and water together, they change the very air around you. You can feel when the air is heavy with water. You can feel it in your lungs. You can feel it oh, in absolutely. your skin. You can, fucking some of us can smell no it, offense. and I love that smell. Fucking hate it. Sometimes it makes it miserable it outside. It does. It does. It's like but a I'm swamp. a house plant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a plant uh, with fingers and toes, so I kind of dig it. I also grew up in Houston and Florida, so um, it's very humid. So I have a question on the topic of water magic. Um, so there are different water spirits, of course. Like, yes. and, and I mean, uh, like There's all, Melissa, like all like elementos. Mermaid. Yeah. Well. Elementos. <laughs> all. <laughs> Does somebody want Mentos? Uh, no, I don't know why. I said, all elementals. You know what I mean? You've got yes. like Fae. Mm -hmm. They go in that quality. Yeah. Now, would you classify Nessie as a water spirit? And if so, could you summon the spirit of Nessie? Well, because in our Nessie episode, as we discussed it, and I was all like, fuck, Nessie's a Kelpie. Yes, I believe. I believe right. that Nessie is a water spirit and that you could summon Nessie. Or maybe but there's multiple Would Nessie Nessies. come to you in Nessie's like non-human form or would Nessie walk up to you as a gorgeous fucking lady with hooves? I feel like to me I feel like Nessie is to me come up if to I you could as a hot bitch with hooves. If I could, we're going off the deep end here, you guys. It's Nessie. water! <laughs> Splash! <laughs> Nessie sexy. <laughs> if I could summon Nessie to, like, protect my house. Like, now I'm like, oh my god, Nessie's swimming in, like, a circle, like a spiritual moat around I get your it. house. I, I mean, I, I literally You're have gators, gators right? all around my house. Oh yeah. my god, no, I need a Nessie fucking <laughs> yeah. Yes, you absolutely do. Because, yeah, I've got Wally Gator, I've got Alligator, and I haven't named the two out front yet. I know I suck. But uh, obviously, I'm pretty lame with the gator names because I named one Alligator because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I know. And then that guy, the one that you said that kind of looks like Reptar, I named him Wally Gator because I just looked at it one day and I was like, thanks for guarding the house, Wally. And then so you're like, name's <gasps> oh. Your name's Wally Bobby. Gator. <laughs> and so, like, I need a gorilla because we live close enough to Pittsburgh anyway, and they're the gorillas, right? Oh, my and God. I could name him Magilla. Oh, my I God. I have Wally Gator and Magilla Gorilla guard my home. No, if I had a gorilla guarding <laughs> my home, I think I'd name it Kerchak. <laughs> like from Tarzan. What? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm older than you, so I love me some Magilla Gorilla. I still have a Magilla Gorilla t shirt from when I was 15 that my daughter stole from me and I caught her wearing it a couple weeks ago and it mysteriously wound up back in my laundry. <laughs> I love Magilla Gorilla. I was like, do not ruin that shirt. You can keep wearing it, this is but do not ruin it. And then it was back in my laundry. This is my spirit guardian, Mighty Joe Young. <laughs> oh my God, yes! <laughs> This is King. Yes, King and he Kong. comes with his own Brendan Fraser that's mine. <laughs> Sponsor us, Brendan. We still love you. We do, actually. I feel oh, like I feel like Brendan Fraser's Brendan Fraser. the type of celebrity I have a chance with. <laughs> like, I don't mean that is I not, get that though. Yeah, he's, he's like, like nice. nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I get you. I feel you a million percent. Uh also I have a type. And Old Brendan Fraser and modern Brendan Fraser kind of go in that type category, yep. actually. Yep. They fit. They do. Um, um, so I like I, Encino I, Man Brendan Fraser. He fits my type. I like the mummy. With or without a shirt. Dude, I, I just, just like the hair. Like, I dated some dudes with some crazy ass hair back in the day. Even Corey, when we got oh together, my God, yeah. his hair was longer than my hair. Dude. My hair was probably um, about this long when I met him. His hair was like probably about this long. 
And he mostly wore it in a ponytail, but not always. A high and one? When it was down is why Jonathan used to call him Jesus and say oh. he wanted to fuck Jesus. And I'd laugh until he said it, like, more than three times. And then I was like, that that's the guy I'm fucking. You can stop that's, saying that yeah. now. Um, so oh, with Jonathan, the water spirits, rest in peace. like, I do, actually. Now I'm kind of like... Mm-hmm. Now I'm kind of either wanting a Nessie. Yeah, so, okay. Or, or since bath, we brought up Could my... you leave offerings in, like, a bird bath? Oh, my God. So, that's so funny. So, I was just going to say, so we brought up my alligators. Do mm-hmm. you... Where, like... How? What do you contribute to a water spirit or whatever? So, I guess and an it's alligator funny that you brought up one. a bird bath because yeah. I was thinking about making a, a, a thing for a mailbox of the gator from... Um, Peter Pan, the cartoon gator. The TikTok. Right? The TikTok yeah. gator. But then I realized, like, no house in my neighborhood has mailboxes out there. So I was thinking, I can have him hold the bird bath. I love that. because like, so, like, And it could be for water offerings. Oh, Because absolutely. I totally think you could use a bird bath for water offerings. Right. So like, I use my pond. So, like, when, when leaving offerings or just uh, associating with water spirits in general, just, I guess, water creatures, yeah. whether they be fourth dimensional or, or you know third here like third okay, dimensional yeah. like the gators like, you know because those are swan totally is water one of my spirits. go-tos because aphrodite is, is associated with swans right and she's a water goddess right not she, everybody knows that actually. oh really oh well, i guess because i'm a follower it didn't yeah like it. some people don't even realize aphrodite was created Born in the sea yeah, yeah she came out of a clam shell right or you, you know you think aphrodite you think love some people mm-hmm. assume passion so what's passion fire, fire. yeah no i get that you know. i do Mm-hmm. But again, the it's all that emotions. emotions. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Sorry, god. I like it when we do that. I do. <laughs> okay, but now I'm like, I need a manatee. Oh like, my god. Okay. Well, like I have a mermaid tail. I forgot to say this in our mermaid episode, but I have a mermaid tail on my Aphrodite altar because my water animals that are inside are on my Aphrodite altar. I've got a swan. I've got a do- oh, I need to move my dolphin. He's not on the Aphrodite altar. But I have a dolphin oh, made out of green malachite. Great. Yeah. Yeah, my uncle Steve that used to do um Shirley McCain drag and introduced me to the beloved Johnny Depp by way of the movie Cry Baby. Um, oh my god, I've never seen John that, Waters. but I, I've never seen Oh, I was like is seven years old. Son? Oh my god, is he's he? so hot. That's when I fell in he's love like with him. A I was seven mm. and my parents had their what like probably twentieth high school reunion or Zam. something. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love you for Johnny. You can't <laughs> not for Johnny. Oh. Um, but, like, so my uncle Steve and Glenn, they were like, what should we do with you kids? We don't, we, you know. So they put on Crybaby. And I don't even think either of my siblings cared, but I was just like, oh, oh my God. A greaser I like. love Johnny Depp. He just cries the one teardrop. It's so it's sexy. It's a single man oh tear. Oh, my God. And then Ricky Lake. I fell in love with Ricky Lake at that moment, too. And probably just John Waters films in general. <laughs> but um, then they taught us how to play poker, which was fun. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. And then later that night, because my parents were still gone at the reunion, um, they put on... My first, like, horror anything. They put on this sci-fi show that had Lily Taylor in some episode of some weird monster show. And I was like, this is the coolest shit. And they told me, like, it's sci-fi horror. And I was like, I love sci-fi horror. So all in one day, like, half of my lifetime interest just fell in my lap because of Stephen Glenn. So on the topic with water and Johnny Pirates. Water. I think, I Mm. think... I would I would have sex with Johnny as Captain Jack Sparrow. Like I definitely. Oh, would. yes. Like who would? Like like low key. My husband kind of looks like Johnny Depp to me. And like the first time know. he like because when his hair was long and the first time he shaved off like the everything he had. You've never seen him shaved. No, I'm over here trying to picture it. I'm like... Yeah, the first time I saw him shaved and he, like, did his head at the same time. So his hair is like... You know how in the 90s the guys, like, they shaved up under their head and then they had the the half ponytail, right? So whenever he shaved up under his head, that's how he did. You know, he'd put his hair up in a ponytail. And, like, it was the first time he'd shaved off all his facial hair. And I was like, you kind of look like Johnny Depp. Oh, my boyfriend kind of looks like Johnny Depp. And, like, he didn't like that. But I did, because it's Johnny Depp. Da, 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 yep. 
Yep, and then like teenage hijinks ensued that maybe, yeah, anyway. So anyway, but so, Johnny Depp in water, totally Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. All this oh my album. God, no, it's like, I've got to summon like a... a Do the accent. <laughs> right, no, no, it's like, we've got, I'm imagining my water spirit protecting my house, but it's Captain Jack Sparrow doing his walk around the house, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, okay, so the Kraken... We need I I'm guess like, we should do a whole episode now I'm like, on that. You know what? Johnny Depp is my new Captain Hook because I got the gators out there. Oh, so my God, yeah. Johnny Depp as Captain Hook. I like it. Oh, my God. Like, cool. instead, like, just it's just slightly different from Captain Jack Sparrow. You know what I mean? God. Just slightly different. But it works with my gators. It does. It does. It does. Um, <laughs> so, for me, I really want to create a water altar, which, by the way, we didn't address this in the Earth, uh, the Earth episode. I don't know why. You can create different little devotional altars to either the element yeah. that you feel connected to, mm -hmm. or some people like to have one of each in their in the home, home. Yeah. so it's it's uh -huh. balanced. Well, I and my first altar was an it was the four elements. I had earth, air, fire, uh -huh. water. That was my first altar that I set up. Oh, I think it, I think I, maybe it's that way for a lot of people yeah. because it's the it's, I, yeah. It, it made sense to me mm -hmm. until I grew in my craft. So when I think of a water altar for me, it's it's got to be in the bathroom. Oh, I, well. For me, some people think it's disrespectful, but for me, it's just I feel the flow. Whereas for some people could say kitchen, but for See, me, I that's was fire. Say, because of um, the hearth. Right. Um, and for me, I go, I don't think that the water altar has to be. Oh, in it does any not. Specific, it does not. Like, it does not. Uh, for different reasons, though. Uh -huh. Like, because it makes sense to me to have it in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It also makes sense to me to have it in the kitchen. Because, like, if I were going to have a fire altar, I'd probably have one at my fireplace yes, you yes. know what I mean so a kitchen water altar would make sense because again I not only do I associate water with cleansing I associate with relationships and where do relationships like what happens in the kitchen right or you, know you can even I mean? do it in the it's bedroom it's like the hub of the home you know, you know and, and in the bedroom but you I, can do fire in the bedroom uh -huh, you could well, for, for passion, passion. exactly yeah. but I my my water predominant because it is my Aphrodite altar is mm -hmm. also my water altar and it is in my bathroom Right. Oh yeah. 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 Like a um, seashell, and it's got oh the, yeah the all mermaid sorts tail. Of, all sorts of things. Um, yeah. Like for me, when I work with water spiritually or do spells with water, they're almost always cleansing. Yeah. Um, you can use water for protection. For me, like as I say that again, I imagine right. like. Um, like closing your eyes spiritually and this is mm -hmm. where the manifesting and the visualization yeah. comes in and maybe there's like a protective moat around you whereas like some people will use fire prote for protection and imagine a ring, a ring of, of fire, fire. Right. but like I'm seeing like a moat well or, and you say water for protection and I go well yeah I'm moon water charged water like oh, absolutely. I you know I call it holy water um I'm extra like that whatever mm -hmm. um I I love holy water for protection I like to carry like I'll carry a vial of it on me sometimes <laughs> right spray. also oh, spray absolutely. oh yeah 100 percent well yeah. you use water to make your teas make your yep. potions mm -hmm. exactly you water know. water is a very it, it is part of our very essence oh absolutely. you know we are made of earth we are made of stardust we are primarily comprised of water right exactly you know um so like I think a water, like, for me, when you go, like, when I think always and water, I think chalice. Like, I always oh, associate, absolutely. like, I always think, oh, I need a chalice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, whether it's Which to is also pour very water feminine. into. Yes, it is, mm -hmm. because it is the receptor. It is the womb. Yes. Um, as we were talking about Jesus earlier and Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. being the uh, the Holy Grail because she is the, the womb, chalice, the, the chalice. receptor, the womb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I guess, would water be... Because I don't know, I, I don't know because I didn't, I haven't looked it up or anything. Would water be a more feminine element? It is. I know it yeah, is. I believe. And, well, and earth mostly, is feminine as yeah. well. Right? So I believe so. Would so air, be air and fire are masculine, I yeah. believe. I, I believe we that We may is be accurate. wrong because I haven't. But that is it how yet. it definitely That's is how in my I head. That's how I perceive it. Yeah. Also, most of the time when I'm reading the properties of things, whether it's herbs or stones, mm -hmm. when it says it water, says, yeah. it generally also says feminine. Right. Rarely does it say water and masculine. That's not impossible, especially when it comes to wood. Oh, yeah. Well, also. It's not impossible. But generally when something's associated with water, it's associated with feminine as well, which is why I say, yes, I believe. Believe water is 
you know, feminine and earth is feminine, whereas fire is definitely masculine. And I, be I feel like air is definitely masculine as well. If you think about the athame and the wand, they're both phallic. Yeah. Whereas mm -hmm. for earth, you we usually have the, a the dish. Chalice. A, a chalice. A chalice for, for, for water. water and, then and with earth, it's either an actual earth substance, which would represent the flesh, mm -hmm. or like a dish of something, which Salt, again would be something. like a womb mm -hmm. holding the thing. I don't know. That's my thought. So deities uh, that are associated with water, we just discussed Aphrodite. Yeah, and there's like um, Poseidon, Poseidon and Triton. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of water deities in like African practices. Oh my gosh, um, yeah. You know, there's a water sacred in a place that's that dry. Oh, I'm sure that I'm sure water's very water deities are very important in a place with that many water predators. Well, and I'm sure in Islander lore mm -hmm. as well. I don't know yeah, much there's about. Yeah, a lot of yeah. I, I most of what I remember from water deities were were the things that I read when I when we were doing our mermaids episode. Ooh. And there are like it's it's very much like uh, islands, South America, mm -hmm. Africa. They have a lot of water deities. Not to say that we don't have water deities elsewhere. Like mm -hmm. Veles is associated with waters uh, in the Slavic pantheon. Mokosh, her name means moist or wet earth mm -hmm. because she is the mother and she is the wet earth that things spring forth and come from. You know what I mean? And it's not just earth and you know, it's wet earth because that moisture. Well, and, and, and in the topic of pop culture, we've got Calypso in Pirates of the Caribbean, oh, yeah. which I fucking love. Fucking love how she was in love with Davy Jones. And Davy Jones was kind of a dick, you know? But I, I can't lie. I love Calypso's accent. Her accent. I don't know if I should I or could do it but i love, love it. that actress if i remember correctly okay so would you do me a favor will you sure. pull up because i want to make sure i'm remembering the actress correctly because i don't want to say wrong but if i remember correctly i fucking love that actress and i love her face in ways that i can't describe and i mean that in the nicest possible way guys um and of course if it's not the woman i'm thinking of then i retract everything is about it Calypso. tia dalma we show me the picture because yeah, I don't know her name. Uh, nope, she's the okay. Then I am mixing her up with somebody else. Now she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. But In I'm, Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. especially, I love her fucking witchy, you know, yeah. outfit, and I, mm -hmm. I do love her like thing she's got with Davy Jones, you know. And honestly, her story, I don't think it's based off anything. I don't think it's, it's, I mean, Calypso's a real person. I believe Calypso really is like a, an island goddess or. I feel like Calypso, I don't know about Calypso in from. Greek mythology is the daughter of the Titan Atlas or Ocean. Oh, okay. okay. And, an, and a nymph. Enough. Okay. In My Homer's bad. Odyssey, was, she entertained yeah. the Greek hero Odysseus mm -hmm. for seven mm -hmm. years. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So kind of why did i think she was also a guy my bad my bad i think it's i think it's the same but also different in pirates of the uh, caribbean you know yeah, what i mean? oh, I'm sure. like, i don't think it's probably the same a sea her. goddess and daughter of atlas in the days of myth and legend the beautiful clips over over the seas okay so it's supposed to actually be her and all the sailors both feared yeah. and loved her which makes sense as to why she's so huge because titans are big yeah um yeah. but i love her like she fell in love with a man, so she made herself small because, you know, she's a titan goddess. She's supposed to be huge, right? Yeah. Um, and Makes the sense. men saw that they she made herself small, so they bound her, and uh, she couldn't use her powers. So the men had control over the sea. So when the pirates... God would, damn patriarchy. I know, right? So when Hashtag the pirates... the patriarchy. The pirates would go out and they would steal and shit. Well, of course there's not going to be a huge hurricane because... We got Calypso. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and I mean, it's just fucked up and it just goes back to like... Sorry, I'm not one of those men hating women, guys. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me, but Maddie and I were just talking about this whole thing about Amber really loves books that were banned from the Bible or written out of the Bible. And... Mary Magdalene was made into a whore, and her uh, Mary, the book of Mary, as in Jesus' mother, mm -hmm. was removed from the Bible, and so was her mother's story, because mm -hmm. they didn't want it to take away from the 
story of Jesus. So you've got like three amazingly powerful women that are like written out of the Bible. And then you say like Calypso made herself small and the men like take advantage and now she can't use her powers. And she's like, I know I'm like know. reading it up. I'm like, I got to make sure I'm getting this correctly. Uh, so she yeah. gave Davy Jones the flying Dutchman as well as a sacred task of collecting all the poor souls who died at sea and ferrying mm -hmm. them to the worlds beyond. Bless her. Uh, because of, of that love, Davy Jones agreed to sit on land once every 10 years, blah, blah, blah. So Davy Jones plotted unbeast known to Calypso where they would tear the rule of the seas away from the sea goddess and imprison her in her body of a mortal woman. <gasps> So is this Trainer. from the movie? No, or is this, this from, from the movie? Lore? I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. No, I. This did not really happen. I mean, fuck you, Davy. Yeah, I know. No, I think that's the whole point. Because she was like, "I love you," and you betrayed me. And he was like, "I never loved you." I but know. like, There's... I don't know the real story of Davy Jones. I don't mm. know. I sorry. know he's a thing. No, it's okay. Like, uh, I don't really know. Other Pirates than, like, have their I mean, own mythology. They have their right? own. Like, lore. there's like the Flying Dutchman stuff, and I've I've learned about some of it in the past, but it, nothing that I remember. Remember, I just, you know what I, I mean? Not like it's like. Do they have their own from. gods? They do have their own water spirits. Like, would you consider sirens a pirate sailor? lore thing because I feel like it's too much a part of everybody else's lore to uh -huh. s make it strictly pirate lore uh -huh. um, but that said you know did it originate with pirates or did it originate with the people on land that the seafarers never came home to you know what I mean? Right, because it's like a right. way of explaining, you know, all of the stories we have for mythology are ways of explaining things we don't have otherwise right, answers right. for, you know? Mm -hmm. So like the whale penis yeah. possibly being the Kraken. Yeah. But I mean, the Kraken is real. I know the Kraken like, it's is real. real. Well, I mean, it is. They found the giant squid. It's like really real. No, I totally, totally I totally believe it. Yeah, it's real. Like it's really, really real. Like we thought it wasn't real, but it is, which is why when we say cryptids, we don't mean they're not real. We just mean we haven't found them yet. I know it's not a cryptid episode. I'm just keeping it. Right. We're just talking all sorts yeah. about water and pirates like, really fell into so that So since we're talking about the ocean and pirates, um, one of my favorite things to do for with the water, um, I know you've not yet had the wonderful experience of going to the beach. But I, know. I, I get to fairly often because of where my family lives and where I'm from. And because I have always, like, I've always had this connection to the ocean. Mm -hmm. And I love to wade out until I'm at least waist deep, if not higher. And just, like, stand there and kind of, like, flow back and forth with the waves. Oh, it sounds and, like, beautiful. And, just, like, really, like, A, let the ocean truly carry all my worries away. Oh, yeah. And, like, flow back and forth with it and get in rhythm with it so that, like, whatever power or, you know, energy it wants to imbue upon me, like, I'm in perfect sync with it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? No, absolutely. Because to me, like, one of the things Sorry. I do want to do when I go to the ocean is that. But to me, I'm a daughter of Aphrodite. I've practiced with Aphrodite a lot. So I think it would be like a self-love yeah. type ritual for me, connecting that. with that goddess. And yeah, yeah. Um, so that yeah. is definitely something I want to do. But if you can't get to the ocean like yeah. i can't <laughs> fresh water works too oh absolutely and you I know just, i um, don't associate fresh water and wells with aphrodite for me i think that's more elemental fairies yeah. and i do believe in fresh water yeah. mermaids as yeah well. absolutely so like, yeah the, that they, the water the nymphs spirits. are not as you know they're they're present in springs and streams oh and absolutely things like that. so like i think yeah. those would be the ones that i would associate with doing around here i mean you can you can do whatever you want but just yeah. for me like my family actually owns um a huge piece of land that also has um, a river that runs through it, and then it's the a coolest. river runs through it. Sorry, it's, it's a good the, movie. no, it's it's <laughs> like the coolest thing. I would love to take you out there sometime. Yeah, here. Right. it's um, there's one, or I'm sorry, there's two trees, and they come up like this, like they they come up off the the bluff, uh -huh. and, and, and they hang in over between, the water. and they hang yeah. over the water, and in between them is the well, and you can see it bubbling up, and it's so fucking cold. 
God, it is so I cold. Because yeah, well, I love it now, but as a child, when your grandmother's like ha ha and dunking you in it, it's fucking rude because it's cold. Uh, yeah. Because it's cold, and yeah. she's like, "LOL, is that cold?" <laughs> yeah, thank you, grandma. It is cold. Uh, or like your siblings come uh, up because like the further away you get, the warmer the water gets. So you're right. playing in the warm water, and you have a fucking sibling come up and, and dump, dump the cold, cold water. water. Oh, it's you. horrible. Um, oh yeah, it's really it's really rude. Um, but over there, you don't really have to worry about snakes because they ain't no snakes going to be in that water. It's fucking cold. Um, I actually did a cleansing there one That's time nice. where I did dump the cold water over myself. But I mean, you can, you can get it directly from the, the fucking, fucking earth. Yeah. No, I would never I drink that. it, of course. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's so nice to have that type of, yeah. um, area to be oh, able to go Oh, absolutely. To. And I won't lie, like, snakes and fish. Uh, <laughs> I don't like fresh water. I don't like getting in it that much. I really? will. Mm -hmm. But, and I, I attribute this with being a child in Florida. Mm -hmm. You don't get in fresh water. It's dangerous because there will be alligators, you know? Uh, there will be snakes, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, my brother and his friends used to go fucking swimming in the fucking uh, canal behind our house that we knew had a gator in it. Um, I never did that. That said, I wasn't as trepidatious about the fresh water. I just, I didn't go swimming in it. Mm -hmm. Now, like, even up here, I'm like, alligators be migrating, man. No, don't say that, yeah, because, sorry. bitch, I be saying that same <laughs> shit every time. Like, there's, like, this one, like, I river was in we Houston, drive. and my husband, like, I was talking about, like, I didn't have to worry about gators, thank God, but I was lost in the woods, and he's like, no, you do, they're over there now. Don't tell me that! I know, I believe it, because, like, there's this one like river we drive by and I'm like that looks like a fucking alligator would live there and it scares me because like you said global warming they are migrating to yeah it's I don't, warmer well not here. just not just global warming they used to naturally exist outside of Florida we just killed them off in their other areas I want to say ooh, that's so shitty but I hate alligators. I, I know. Alligators, I hate them so, so like, much. I'm like, them I am that orcas. so shitty. Like, people need to keep their... I know, I know. They need to keep their I hands know. off nature. I'm sure They ruin right. everything. Like, I was listening to this episode of Against All Oddities podcast, and uh, it was their Stephen King episode. And um, they weren't actually talking about Stephen King at the moment. Uh, one of the brothers, I think it was Chris, was talking about the Hardy Boys and how he used to read it. Um, and they, the youngest one is my age and the older two are about my siblings' ages, right? So it would have been, I'm guessing, the 80s when he's reading the Hardy Boys. And he was talking about how, like, he's reading about the stuff that happened in the 50s and he's like, how cool, because nowadays if you discover cool stuff, people ruin it. Mm -hmm. But back then, they didn't ruin it yet. And I was thinking about, that's like, that's how I feel. Like, mm -hmm. people ruin it now. They just ruin everything. Like I said about Nessie, I think, in our Nessie episode. Like, mm -hmm. people would just ruin it if you ever could really find Nessie. Water is actually, it. like, a kind of a really sad topic. It actually you is. Know, I you guess, I guess it, we, we could pollute it so badly. I guess, I, well, I was going to say we could say that for every element, but I don't think fire so much. You know what I mean? Fire, fire can hold its own. You know, but as for, like... Earth, Do air. we abuse fire, though? Oh, probably, yeah, absolutely. Because we definitely destroy the other three. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It is I sad. mean, you, Damn, can, I don't you think cannot about it. drink wild water anymore. I'm anti-landfill. You can't drink wild water. And here's the other thing. Like, we're bad for the water. You can't bathe in the water with mm -hmm. the products we use. It's bad for no, wild water. No, I saw water. an episode of Naked and Afraid where this bitch watched... Wa Washed, washed her, her ass, ass in, in the, the fucking drinking hole. I was just about to water. say that. And she's like, it's okay, don't worry. And then the next day they wake up and the fish is fucking dead because you, you lost poison. your ass yeah. in water. You can't do that. Oh my God, it's so dumb. That guy, her partner oh. was so pissed. I don't blame him. Like, I, I feel bad pissed. for her because she shit herself because they were having issues anyway with like digestion. And so she was really embarrassed about it and she just wanted to wash it off. So I don't think she was thinking like, hey, this is our drinking water. I think she was thinking, I'm embarrassed. I've got to wash this off. But at the same time, when you're in a survival situation, you do you have, have to, to think, think about, about it. it. Yeah. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, water is actually a really sad topic because it's not just the um, water yeah. itself, but the water creatures, like the yes, turtles. sea turtles. And you can't tell me the that fish. the water uh, elementals the are not... They, We're killing the coral. Oh Sunscreen is terrible for coral. I mean... The water elementals have got to be affected as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Well, like, yeah. I think I mentioned once um, in in the Slavic lore, the water, uh, the, the female water entities whose name, like, escapes my brain right now, but they dislike women over men because the women are the ones that pollute the water by doing dishes and laundry oh, and wow. using soap and, and like destroying their home, so to speak. Wow. Yeah. That's and that's from like 1800s lore, Damn. you know? So it's like even that long ago, they, they kind of realized it, but like people suck and don't care and just did whatever anyway. That sucks. I'm going to say it. I think I've said it before on the podcast. I'm coming out being honest. I think the Industrial Revolution was the worst fucking thing for the world. Um, it was the absolute worst fucking thing for the world. I do think we need to add a disclaimer. If you're going to use water magic or water in your practices, do so safely. Because like yeah. we said, you can't and ingest. Responsibly. And responsibly. Don't dump herbs out into a lake. You don't know what they'll do to the fish. Um, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. am I wrong to say that? I, I never, like I'm going to be honest with you. would have like you know concentrated things in them so i don't know maybe I've i'm wrong no i've never never thought of that honestly i'm um, just like don't pour salt in the lake like don't don't pour shit into a body of water like mm -hmm. i'm just and you know, don't ingest anything yes. either please do not. and don't don't anoint with water you're not familiar with you don't know what bacteria again could be in there people suck and you're totally right you can buy swamp water from louisiana don't fucking ingest it probably don't put it on your skin because there's a lot of flesh eating amoebas and shit unfortunately or brain eating amoebas in swamp water yeah mm -hmm. well and again you know when you mix elements, you can change properties, right? right? So if you take tainted water and you heat it, you can kill some of the, the mm -hmm. bad things that are in it. Mm -hmm. Additionally, disclaimer, you can, don't try. I mean, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just saying like from a scientific perspective, I'm not saying right. do this. I'm just saying like, I mean, if you're like naked and afraid, if they boiled water, it would make it safer to drink kind mm -hmm. of shit, right? right? So from like that same perspective, like when you mix the elements, you can take water, you can put earth into the water, add heat to that. You can pull elements of the earth out of the water. You remove those earth particles such as rose petals. So it's like, and now you've got your rose water. You, you are You're making viewing your water with earth properties and mm -hmm. water, which you can and I'm talking about safe water. Mm -hmm. You can like then spray on yourself or splash your face with. You know, rose water, I think, like tightens your skin. Oh, too. yeah. Rose water is great, great for, for you. you. Yeah. I had actually just watched a video on Facebook where this guy had boiled ocean water and you boil it and you boil it and you boil it. To and take, you, you're left the with a crust. Yeah, yeah. And it gets the salt. Yeah, um, so that, that. that would be really cool to that try. That would be a cool way to harvest your own sea salt. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, it, and it's powerful for magic, right? Oh, I would think Especially so. if you imbue the water with intentions, uh -huh. right? And as, like, and you say incantations over it as mm -hmm. you're boiling it away and releasing Potion. that energy yes. into the air, right? Mm -hmm. And again, it's all about, like, it's using the every elements element. together. Water. Yeah. You've, earth, and then yeah. earth from the yeah, fire. The salt. And, and then, the like water. you said, it's yeah. evaporating into the yeah. air. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm very okay. curious on how you guys use water in your magic, yeah. and if you do, um, I know that you had said you can use it to anoint things, holy mm -hmm. water. Yeah. Um, you can use it for cleansing, infusing. like literally cleaning, or mm -hmm. you know you can take it around. Like a Slavic practice um, for cleansing before rituals is to take a sprig of evergreen mm -hmm. and put it in water, and then. Mm -hmm. you know um you I've know done fling yeah. flick the water i've totally yeah. done that yeah, yeah. um yeah. 
Yeah. So there's like, like so and then there's you know things. water is completely associated with healing, right? There's oh, the healing absolutely. waters of many goddesses such as Bridget. Well, now I'm like you say boiling it and or, or now when I, you make soup, you know usually I use yeah. broth because it tastes better. Right. But if you want to add a cup of water to that, you know what I mean? Well, or you can make your own broth, like, you know, like oh, if you... with water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's, yes. And, like, I just harvested rose petals out of the garden because Roz wants to make this, uh, like, Turkish tea or something recipe. Mm-hmm. And so she needs fresh rose petals. And so tea, hot water. You know, right, I think exactly. you brought it up earlier. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all about, you know, it's a way of ingesting potions mm-hmm. um, or spraying protection mm-hmm. or, you know, positive energy around you. Yes. You know, water Water is very versatile, mm-hmm. um, but it's also, it's a lot of fun to work with. Like, I love, you know, we talked about in the mermaid episode, like swimming and stuff, you know? Yeah. I love that aspect of water, like the way it feels to move through it. I like how it feels in my hair. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. And the way your hair so like so majestic. Yes. Floats in water. It's not the same consistency. No, I don't know. Well, you know, I guess unicorns don't have anything to do with water, but now I'm like envisioning like I'm, Narwhal. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> No. Water I'm unicorn. Like, I'm like floating in like the spring, you know, the one at Wildcat Glade. Uh-huh. And then it's like, oh my god, look over there. It's a fucking unicorn, unicorn. drinking out of the spring. Oh my god. Have you seen that? Before we get off oh. here, I'm so sorry. Have you seen that legend? It's called yeah. Legend with, with Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise when he was I love that motherfucker. Tim Curry's the devil. Oh my god. That's is. Tim Curry. He is, yeah. isn't he, dude? Fuck that guy. It is. I, I do love that movie, though. I, I can't lie. I haven't like, seen it for a really man, long time. But fuck those goblins. They're like, good fire, movie. fire, burning higher. Singing rhymes just like a fire or some shit. I, I do love that movie. I don't know. I, uh, so I, I love that, like, you know, there's the ancient legends of, like, the water that you can drink to be a lot like <gasps> the fountain, the fountain yeah. of motherfucking you yeah and then the there's pirates. like yeah like there's a book uh called tuck everlasting and it's like yeah about a fuck family that. fuck that book i you had know, to tuck read it i had to read it that it. dumb bitch gave her fucking fountain of youth water to a frog man f- what the fuck that is so stupid. I'm sorry. Like I, I had to read that. I book. Lo- I did too, and, and just, I did love oh, that book. I it did. just it just made me so mad. Like you could spend the rest of your life with your love, but you're gonna give it to a fucking frog that got ran over instead, or like that's that's <laughs> lame. That's stupid. <sighs> Like, it's been much longer that I read that book than you. I do not remember that. <laughs> I just remember a dog. I don't know. You fucking dumb bitch. Yeah. Like it just makes me so mad. Like I loved if that. I, but I just remember like they had the the tuck everlasting. That's why they were everlasting because they had the magic water. The type of person that I am, though, if I was given the opportunity to drink out of the fountain of youth, you know, part of me is like, oh hell yeah, I would. I don't think I would. I don't think I could. It's like what we discussed in the vampire episode. It's that whole like, can I know, like, can I watch everybody I love die? For me, it's just like, yeah, it's it's a it's 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 cool. It's yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. So maybe if you find the fountain of youth, let us fucking know. Because yeah. even even I if might I drink don't, a couple times. even if I don't drink out of it, I want to fucking see it. What if it's a spiritual thing and not a physical thing? What if it's oh? Because I'm sitting here thinking like, fuck, drinking the fountain out of the fountain of youth. Like I'm a I want to feel it on my skin. Me too. Yeah. That's what I'm well, I'm over here like, oh my god, Just what if it's in the fourth in dimension? Check out our past episodes on the multiverse. But it's like, like what if it's in the fourth dimension and you're standing directly in front of it and you can't see it because it's in the other dimension and it's right there and the only people who can see the fountain of youth either have the sight or are permitted to, to see, see it. it by who the fountain itself right i'm like i gotta write this shit down if it doesn't want you to see it, it i've gotta to write this shit it. down I've said it many like, times. Yep. for real though now yeah. i'm like oh my god 
The fountain of youth only reveals itself to those who are worthy of the power of the Right? Well, but I mean, it's like, okay, but the fountain of youth can like, it's not, everything's not perfect with it because there's this episode of Futurama where they like, they find the fountain of youth out. It, well, the fountain of youth has been found out in the galaxy and there's like a day spa oh, around God. it, right? And so like you can get in the fountain of youth, but it's like a whirlpool, right? So you can like, you don't, you don't just be in it because the longer you're in it, the younger you get until oh. you're dead. Who, I'm just over here thinking like. It's a good episode. I love Futurama. It's my show. My husband loves it. I'm just over here like, I I'm really Fry intrigued. Leela for I mean, I believe this. I believe this. I guess I created my own lore. But like, I'm over here like. Who would be worthy to see the fountain of youth? Who 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 would people with the best of intentions? I would think, I mean that's my No, opinion. no, I mean I would think so. Like I mean, anybody who wants to find the fountain of youth to get rich off of it, I don't think is going to find the fountain of youth. If or you, maybe if you want to like find it for financial gain. I'm thinking Goonies right now. You know what I mean where they're like Going on their little adventure. Sorry, all I can picture is Sean Astin in his little retainer when Aww. he's so young. He's dead. No, he's not. Is he the guy that died? Or is he is he Samwise Gamgee? He's Samwise Gamgee. Oh my you god, that's me. who's the other guy? Who's the one that died? The other one. They're this they're they're the same, but they're not. From Goonie? I thought he was on Goonies. Cause he died. River Phoenix died. No, he was okay. in Lost Boys. I'm talking about the guy in Lost Boys. Corey ha Haim died. Corey Haim. Okay, he's not in he's, Goonies. Okay, Feldman so, is in Goonies, and he is. He's I get die. those two confused. Yeah, well, he's yeah, Samwise Gamgee. The one from Goonies is Samwise Gamgee. Just yes. Yeah. yes, yes, and he's still alive because he yes. was in. Okay, yes, so yes, he was Rudy. And uh, he's in like Stranger Things, or he yes, was. Yes, okay, was. yeah. He he's was. Good. Sean Astin. He's so, so cute. Now that you say that's him, I was like, oh, look at him as a kid. He was. He was so cute. I was, so I thought he was cute. Down he here, it's our time. Down here. <laughs> that's <laughs> looking for that's the fountain of youth. That's all I can picture. Sponsor us so we can go look for the fountain of youth. Like we'll that do guy. it. We'll like do that it. guy. I'll get a malaria shot. Well, I'm just saying, like, Ooh. first of all, we I have do to, it. We have to go to like the Caribbean area first, because like when I see the Fountain of Youth, that's what I see. Um, also, like, we could totally get enough sponsors and do it like that Hollow Earth guy, except for not <laughs> fucking like not this. just like kill everybody, all right? Time. Or say they existed and they really didn't. <laughs> Bryson, I need you to watch Theodore. I uh, have I'm to go. go look for the Fountain of Youth, dude. It's, He's like, it's dude, I, I can't be with you while you find yourself. I'm not trying to find myself. I'm trying to find the Fountain of Youth. Yeah. Do you listen? <laughs> it's all about the magical healing waters. <laughs> Wait, this is, I'm doing this for us. Or like, <laughs> it's wet and wild time, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just thinking in my head, it's like, no, you have to come with me. You're giving up your dream. No, Maddie. I'm giving up your dream. <laughs> to find the fountain of youth. <laughs> I feel like the fountain of youth might be located in the Bermuda Triangle. I might get a twofer. What if it's under the water? What if it's in Atlantis? A bubble. Oh, oh my God. God. It's in Atlantis. I, I'm convinced. No, I don't know. I really like, like the I idea so. of it revealing itself to people with honest intentions. But I feel also, like not the Amazon necessarily, but like Car Caribbean maybe, but like I almost think like South America. I'm kind of getting... Sort of Amazon, but sort of not Amazon. I'm not sure. In a way that's related but unrelated, I'm getting Raiders of the Lost Ark vibes where it's like, choose which one is the fountain of youth and then they're like he's like oh it's got to be that one it's so fancy but really it's the cracked like the old cracked marble old, one or clay old clay or oh, some yeah. shit oh my god yeah and then you drink from that fountain of youth and it's like oh my god you get old because it's, yeah it it's was the, the opposite fountain. Fountain i'm kind of digging this we can we do a, 
We're going to do an movie, episode on Which is fucking... talking tarot the movie. Oh my God. <laughs> well, no, I'm like, I would kind of want to do an episode on the Fountain of Youth. I'm not yeah, going to lie. Now I'm, I'm down. Like, damn. Water's leading to the Fountain of Youth. I like it. Oh, my God. Water magic. It's kind of perfect. I know, but I'm, I'm glad here, I remember like, Where does the water up? come okay. from? The Fountain of Youth? Yeah. Is there... It comes straight from the Aquarius's Heaven. water jug. Oh, my God. That's... I'm I'm down. I'm like, I like this. needing this. All right, guys. Do you guys like the idea? Let us know <laughs> on Twitter at Classiest Witches, or I guess Instagram at Witches Talking Terror. But I don't know how you can let us know there. So, right, you know, right. And just if you're plugging watching, it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We are three. As of right now, while we're a magic number, this, you can be magic. Right? We are three subscribers away from our goal of 65, and that was, we were hoping to reach that by the end of May. So, yeah. please help a witch out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And hi, Melissa. Hey, we Melissa. We appreciate your support. Thank you for helping us to make a better show, and eventually, after you get some more friends, we'll be able to go look for the Fountain of Youth. Yeah, for real. Like, guys, come on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll document it on TikTok. <laughs> It'll be, we'll give you special, like, extra behind the scenes stuff on Patreon. Oh, we'll just send you some. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you're, our pa if you're a top tier patron when we find the Fountain of Youth, you get a vial, baby. You oh my God, now it's not going to reveal itself to us. Because we no, just. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not doing it for profit. We're not selling the vial. We're saying if you help us, get there we will recompense you I with like love that. through water okay. because water carries fix emotion fix it amber yes <laughs> we're not selling it we're not doing it for no, gain no. we just want to find it right. for and our it. own edification because right and damn. Well, we just so in case the fountain of youth is listening uh we're not going to tell people where you are yeah like, no it's gonna be a secret no like and just like not even a vial of water. They'll get a drop. We don't want to drain you. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> Sponsor us. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll check out our next episode on Succubus. And Incubus. I'm excited yeah. about this one. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming to sit with us for a spot.